One X Player has innovated again, this time in the eGPU market, introducing the One X eGPU 2. Not too long ago, they released the One X eGPU, which featured an AMD Radeon RX 7600M XT, and it was pretty successful because of its size and features, and now they're back, this time with a better GPU, the AMD Radeon RX 7800M. This has almost double the compute units, more VRAM, 60 more watts of TDP, so we should get a decent boost in graphics performance over the first generation, which I'll show later in this video. Quick disclaimer, this unit was provided for review by 1X Player. It is a loner unit, all thoughts and opinions are my own. In this video, I'll cover features and specs, size comparison, gameplay, and we'll do a quick comparison between the first and second generation 1X eGPU. I do have two more videos planned, a Legion Go focused one and a better comparison between the first and second generation 1X eGPUs. So keep a look out for those videos. For internal specs, we have the Radeon RX 7800M and we've got 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 to go with that. It's got up to 180 watts of TDP on the GPU and we've got 65 watts of USB-C charging. For back IO, we have power input, USB-C port for USB 4 and Thunderbolt, Oculink at PCIe 4.0 x4, we've got two DisplayPort 2.0s and one HDMI 2.1 port. We've got two 10 gigabits per second USB-A ports, a micro SD card slot, and an Ethernet jack. It's pretty similar to the first gen 1X GPU. The big differences are the missing HDMI port, the USB-A ports moved to the back, and the inclusion of that micro SD card slot. And one thing that did bother me was the placement of this power cord. I mean, it kind of gets in the way of the USB port, and I kind of wish they had moved it to the bottom of the unit. Now you can install an NVMe SSD in here and store some extra games, but we are going to be limited on bandwidth, especially when we're using USB 4. Here are some other eGPUs to compare to, and yeah, it's a bit bigger than these other devices, but it does have a bit more power. And here are some One X Player devices too. You can definitely tell that it is a bit chunky, but considering the size of an actual GPU, this is still quite compact for the power that you get. I've got two devices I'm going to use to test this eGPU. The first one is the One X Player X1, and this is the Intel version, the 155H, and I am going to be using the Oculink port on this. And I also have the Lenovo Legion Go, and I'm going to be using the USB 4 on this. We're going to get a nice comparison between the performance difference on the Oculink and the USB 4. Investigate the scientist bunker.
Spider cop? Well, he's no spring chicken. Please be going where I think you're going. As of today, Spider cop is officially retired. Oh, thank God. I need a drink. We'll all drink tonight, Yuri. Drink to the memory of Spider cop's tireless. Yuri, memory of Spider cop's tireless. Yuri? Yuri, you there? Uh, guess the emotion of the moment overwhelmed her. Yeah, man. Man, that... Hey, this! Yes, sir. The ring's a long way ahead. Know your positions. The next ring's quite a trek, and we're down to 45 seconds. Overall, I really enjoyed testing this device. It does pack a lot of power in a small package. I did have a little bit of trouble setting it up with the Legion Go, and there was quite a few settings I had to change to make it work. But once I did get it working, it worked very well. I do have two more videos planned for this device, a Legion Go specific, and a comparison between the first and second generation device. So stay tuned for those videos. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, maybe even subscribe, and thanks for watching.